Hello family, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always a great privilege for me, a great honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. I feel blessed each time God finds me worthy to entrust a prophetic message to me for his children. It is not a right, it is just a privilege because it could have been anyone else, but God decided to use me to speak to you to use me to give you this word and I never take it for granted. So God bless you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time, a special welcome to you. Thank you even more for yielding to the leadership of the Holy Spirit that led you here to click on this video. I always say it's not a coincidence. If God led you here, it's not a coincidence. Or if you clicked on this video, it is not a coincidence. You yielded to the leadership of the Spirit that led you here. And my prayer is that the reason for which God led you to this channel or to this video will be manifested. So kindly subscribe if you have not done that already. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that each time there is a release of a prophetic word, you are going to... Um, receive a notification and if you have already done that already god bless you thank you and welcome to the family and to all my returning subscribers god bless you i love you you are always in my thoughts you are always in my prayers i do not cease to intercede for you especially those who send me a prayer request on my email i'm always lifting you up before the lord in prayers thank you for being um a part of this channel i do not take your presence here for granted god bless you always hallelujah the lord gave me this prophetic word and i pray that you open up your heart to receive the bible says when you hear the word of the lord do not harden your heart i i really do pray that this word is going to sink deep and it's going to um be a it's going to reveal, uh, how do I call it? It's going to be a light bearer to your life. Hallelujah. God says these two are in a serious fight because of you. These two are in a serious fight because of you. This is because you are not ordinary. This is because there is a specific assignment God has for you. This is because of the light you carry. There is a battle between the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light over you. There is a battle between the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light over you. But guess what? You have the yam and the knife to decide your fate. You have the yam and the knife. I mean, it's so strong that you need to consciously decide what you want to do. You need to consciously decide how you want to handle this. You need to consciously decide. I mean, it's a conscious effort. Apostle Paul speaking, he says, the things that I want to do, he says there is a, a war in my members. There is a war in my spirit. There is a war that is going on in the inside of me. The things that I want to do, I am, I, I, I do not do them and the things i don't want to do i find myself continually doing them but guess what there is a great news for you every one of us we have found ourselves in that place where you 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 you, you know the right thing to do but you cannot do it we have found ourselves in that place where you know this thing you are doing is wrong but it's difficult for you to stop we all have been there because there are forces that want you to go against the will of God. There are forces. You know, the Bible says narrow is the way. Why? Because it takes a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of consciousness. It takes a lot of self-awareness to be able to do the right things. But guess what? We have a cheat code that so many people are not making use of. The cheat code is the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, walk in the Spirit and you shall not gratify the loss of the flesh. What does that mean? It means if you walk in the Spirit, you are going to minimize the desires of your flesh. You are going to minimize. We always, Our flesh always comes calling at every time because we are human beings. Our flesh has its demands. It lays on us. There are how many demands that the flesh has? 
The flesh has a, 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 a need for food and water, need for comfort. We want to be comfortable. Need for sex. You know, it's, it's a, a natural desire that your body has. Need for food and water, need for comfort. Everybody wants to be comfortable. You want to. You want to feel comfortable in whatever you're doing. Need for sex. These are not things that are without. They are things that your body desires. But guess what? You can tame it. You can tame it. When you walk in the spirit, you can tame it. That is why people are able to take up on fasting programs. Even though your body wants food, you deprive yourself of food because you have a goal. People take on one day fast, three days fast, in seven days, 21 days. I know of people who have taken 40 days fast. They put their body under subjection. They put their flesh under subjection. So many of us Christians, we, we do this one. You know, your body naturally, it, it wants satisfaction it it, it it desires a kind of sexual pleasure but how do you say no to that especially if you're not married or um or you are fasting you 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 know for a woman there is a time there is a season in every month there are some days in every month where you are ovulating and when the ovulation is happening you are so fertile and you are really sensitive your body starts acting up and you start feeling the need for sex when other people when unbelievers feel that when they feel that they will stop at nothing to gratify the 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 loss of the flesh they will feel they will do everything they can to satisfy that desire but as a Christian, if you are not married, you have to walk in the spirit so that you do not satisfy that desire. And so many of us do that already. So many of us know how to tame our bodies. The same for men. You know, men's natural inclination is that when they see a woman who is beautiful, looking all, you know, glammed up and everything, they are attracted to the woman. They want to have sex with her. But the reason why Christian men and people who have self-discipline do not do it is because they put their bodies under subjection. There is a war. The world, the world is pulling you to come this way. And the laws of God requires you to be chaste, requires you to be holy, requires you to be pure, requires you to be disciplined. And the good news is that you have someone that can help you handle this. You are not in it alone. The Holy Spirit can help you. If you walk in the Spirit, you will not gratify the loss of the flesh. You will not yield to the things of the world. You will find yourself inclining to the things of the Spirit, to the things that give God glory. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? If you did, I'd like to pray for you. Father, I thank you for this word that has been received. I thank you, Lord, that it will bear fruit in the earth lives in the name of jesus i pray oh god that even as they have listened to this word they will work in the spirit so that they do not gratify the loss of the flesh in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah may the lord bless you keep you cause his face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace the shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Please feel free to tell me in the comment section what you felt about the prophetic word, how it resonated to you, or if you think you can do it, if you need assistance, you can write me a mail and we are going to work on something. God bless you.